Hey everybody, so this is going to be my final video on Tenet. Um, I feel like I wanted to save the best for last. This is uh, the, little, the little pearl in the ocean that uh, is, that's my analogy, is it's a pearl in the ocean because it's, it's something that you may not pick up the first time you watch it, but the key to the movie is Max. Um, and everything surrounding Max he's like the sun it's a solar system the whole plot revolves once you understand that max is the key to the story along with some of the other characters it all starts to make sense because there's already a theory out there that max is neil who uh, works with the protagonist to save cat and his son because he is cat's son <clears throat> and so um but that's just one key element. The other key element is that um, Albert Durer was uh, an artist <clears throat> back back in the day who um, was uh, he did he did a work of art called Melancholia, and it was an angel with a magic square above it, and um, the sum value of the magic square was thirty four, meaning diagonally and not diagonally but vertically and horizontally um the value of each of the numbers in the magic square summed up to 34. now i mentioned this in a, in the prior videos but the key thing to remember is that when they go to oslo i think it's oslo um to that art gallery where it's in the shape of a pentagon there's numbers that um show up um i'm trying to think what numbers there were i think there was 10 5 uh 3 and 4 and the closer that they get to the turnstile which is essentially the wheel or the rotus because that's the company that they that they uh infiltrate um the 3 and the 4 is where they approach the wheel and uh in the Seder square there's Seder, uh rotas tenant arepo and uh i'm trying to think of what the other the other one is opera so those three those four words um i, I hope i got it all down but so yeah so uh in that it talks about um Seder or saturn being the wheel of time and so that kind of incorporates into the story that there's a there's a time element to to the plot but what i was going to say is that the numbers placed within the story uh within that sequence um during the art gallery pentagon um sequence at Rotas Corporation, um, the last three, excuse me, the last two numbers is three and four, which is the sum value of Albrecht Durer's magic square. And here, here's the here's the really cool thing is that Albrecht Durer did a painting of who? He did a painting of someone. Now. I want everyone to go check it out, stop stop the video right now, and look it up. And then also, I want you to look up the sequence where the scientist is talking to the protagonist while the invert, inverted bullet comes back to his gun and um, in the shooting range. Um, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but it's pretty exciting stuff. So. There's a scene where the scientist is standing um, in front of a whiteboard with um, Maxwell's demon, which is an equation on entropy. So you get it, Maxwell? All right, now let's go back to Albrecht Durer. Albrecht Durer did a portrait of Maximilian, the emperor Maximilian. So again, Maxwell's demon uh, and Maximilian the Emperor 
was done done up <laughs> sorry he did a painting on on the emperor maximilian so those two factors max is the key to the story so i just wanted to share that today um so yeah um but i'm just trying to think if there's anything else i don't think there's anything else but um yeah just check it out and i'm kind of hoping that you guys check out the first one tenant symmetry that's the first one that i talk about where i don't get too heavy into spoilers but this is like the final and last spoiler and uh because i'm not i honestly i'm not sure how many people are going to pick up on it you know because there was a lot of people that just dismissed this movie as too complex and convoluted and stuff. And I'm like, no, no, this movie is smart. This movie has layers to it. And uh, it took a lot of convincing for a couple of people that I know to rewatch it. So anyways, I just wanted to share that. Christopher Nolan's awesome. So anyways, all right, thanks.